who are you? French Montana, a.k.a. Julius Caesar. French Montana, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Man, thank you, man. Embrace me with love. French Montana, right off the bat, I want to begin with a quote. Ain't nothing more important than the moolah. Diamond chains, slick rick. The ruler. Slick rick, the ruler. Uh -huh. And to welcome you to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, French Montana, I have a gift for you, a slick rick t-shirt here for you. Uh, shout out to slick rick, a former native Bronx member like me that came up that's ignorant with the jewelry, with the minks, and just living that life. Shout out to Slick Rick the Ruler, and shout out to Vancouver. And to top that off, also got you a Slick Rick LP as well. Man, this, oh my God, I know you ain't do this, man. Look, I said, I know you ain't do it, and it's called I Shouldn't Have Done It. I love it. When did you first get into Slick Rick? Um, I mean, um, Slick Rick was kind of like the first people that, that, I mean, like the first person that really like brought their flashy lifestyle to the game. You know what I'm saying? Like, he the first one that came came in with a hundred chains looking like King Tuck. Like, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, Booker T, like just coming in there like, huh, this is me, man. So, you know, no lotty dotty. We like the party. So, French Montana, here we are in Vancouver, British Columbia. Columbia? Canada! Uh, we could be in Colombia. What exactly is that over there? Could you please explain? This is Julius Shisha. Attached to? Attached to the, look, this came straight from Iraq. Right here, this is like, this, you know, the big, you know, um, 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 you know, the, the big guys in Iraq smoke this Dubai, you know what I'm saying? You see a seal, it's not the regular hookah, you see the band? Everything is, 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 is put together neatly. And nice. French Montana, here you are in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Did you see the movie Rumble in the Bronx at all? Of course. And Vancouver played the Bronx in that movie. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Did you notice that the Bronx didn't look like the Bronx in that movie? Nah, because I felt like they shot it in Vancouver, right? Am I right or wrong? Yeah, you could see mountains that didn't look like the Bronx. There ain't any mountains in the Bronx, are there? Ain't no mountains in the Bronx. The projects look like mountains. Now, I was wondering, French Montana, Bronx rappers, what can you tell the people about... Tim Dog, fuck Compton. Man, I ain't gonna lie. I love Compton. I don't want no problems when I go to LA. Shout out to Compton. I love Compton. Shout out to Tim Dog. I mean, you know, we grew up on these kind of things, man. You know, um, you know, Tim Dog, you know, to, to the whole, you know, digging in the crates movement. This was all around the same era, you know what I'm saying? So I fell in love with this, what got me into hip hop. What's interesting is there was a follow up, or an answer record to that by Tweety Bird Loke. Fuck the South Bronx. This is. Tweety Bird Loke. He was Loken when he did this. This is Compton. He was Loken when he did this. You know, he tried to... I mean, um, honestly, South Bronx where hip-hop started. You can never say fuck the South Bronx. And, you know, I guess he was just trying to get his name up at the time, and he was Loken. So, you know, he was, like, going cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs at the time, trying to get his name up. So it's all love. French Montana, wanted to ask you about the song Freaks. In it, you sample Dougie Fresh. And I don't never pass me somebody with a shirt off looking like this and put it in my hand. See the shirt? Oh, my God. I can't even look at it. I got to put this down ASAP. You see this? Oh, my God. But you do love Dougie Fresh. Like, you beatbox too, don't you? Yeah. Shout out to Dougie Fresh. Shout out to Lil Vicious. I, um, you know, I met both of them. I had the um, privilege to meet both of them, you know what I'm saying, after I did the record. And they um, both, you know, embraced me with open arms and, you know. I just, I, um, I'm kind of was mad. I, I couldn't bring them out to at least one show to do the record together, bring the original back with the, with, with the new. Here we are in Vancouver, British Columbia. Huh? Canada. I have a Moroccan gift for you to take it back to Africa right here. Some music from Morocco. What's, what's this? Who's this? Just various music from Morocco. Arabian, like, I'm trying to see if I know her. I might have ragged her before. You never know. I guess I was curious, what's the music like of Morocco? A lot of those instrumental, they have neat instruments, don't they, too? Um, M Moroccan music is mostly um, Arabic music, French music. Um, I'm just happy to be blessed to be the, um, the biggest rap artist they ever had to ever come out of Morocco as a country. So I'm blessed for that. So shout out to Morocco. They got a lot of, they got a lot of artists, you know, Shep, Shep, Hassani. They, they got a lot, of, they, they call them Shebs out there. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, that's, 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 that's what you call big artists out there. And, they got their own little rap movement out there, too, so shout out to Morocco. French Montana, there's another Moroccan record I want to ask you about. If you turn it over, Morocco, I was curious about this map on the back of this record. It has your hometown on there. Um, yeah, I mean, if you look close, if you look close, this is Casablanca. This is where I'm from. 
Um, this is Rabat. This is the Mecca of Morocco. You know, just to let you know the history. I got deer right here. This is um, where you go if you, if you want to go to the beach and go on vacation. You go here, um, Marrakesh. This is like Vegas of Morocco. You know what I'm saying? Right here. See the tip right there? Look at that right there. This is where you go. This is where you go where you're tired of living in a third world country. Because what they don't show you outside this Morocco thing is Spain is right here. You know, so it's, it's almost about 15, no, I think about 100 kilometers. So if you go to the tip right here, you can actually see Spain. So a lot of people attempt to go here and swim to leave a third world country. So this tip right here is really a historical place you know, for a lot of people try to escape a third world country. So shout out to Morocco. Pigeons, pigeon pastille. What's that like, pigeon pastille? Have you eaten that? Nah, I don't really like eating pigeon, um, pigeon pastille. What's it like? Have you heard what it's like at all? What does it taste like, eating pigeon? Um, I mean, it's different. You know, um, pigeons in Morocco is, is different pigeons from pigeons in New York and the United States because they filthy out here. Over there, They people really... See how Mike Tyson, like... Like really, like you know, have 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 like on um, pigeons and raise them and everything. Honestly, I raised pigeons when I was young in Morocco, and I used to have you know the, they charge you more for the ones with the long neck. And I'm so so I raised pigeons when I was young. You know what I'm saying? So this is like you're the first one I ever told that to. You know what I'm saying? But out there, they can, they they eat them. Over here, you eat them, you wake up with a drug addiction. So it's different. French Montana, quote, I gunner like Carmelo, you soft like. Gunner like Carmelo, you soft like marshmallow. Mm. Yes, from a 2001 battle that you had. But you see, I, I mean, um, a lot of people don't know that um, when I came up, I came up battling. I came up, you know, just like a regular rapper. I had the same his history that everybody had. I grew up studying bars. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't it ain't it wasn't nothing for me to go bar for bar, get lyrical, this and that. But it just I couldn't I couldn't make money being lyrical. So when I threw my swag with the mix, money started coming in. So I said, guess what? I'ma do this. But I can get there if we really have to be there. It just take me a day, you know what I'm saying, to write sixteen bars that every every word you hear gonna be like, whoo, whoo, whoo. You know? What do you remember about rapping and battling Scar Child? You rapped and battled Scar Child in one of those battles. Yeah, man. Now we were just coming up, man. I remember that day, man. It was like, um, we was all talking. And I was like, you know what? It was a thing called Fight Club. So with people would really go in there with, with literally $10,000, $20,000, $30,000 cash. And it was like a pool table. And you put the money on one side, the money on the other side. Whoever win takes the money, you know. But I had my local folks from the Bronx where we was going to take the money if we win or lost, regardless. So we went in there and we had the battle. It just so happened that – shout out to Scar Child, shout out to Bizarre. That was his artist at the time, you know. So it was just like – it was just like a moment. And, and, and you know, and, you know, I love it, man. I, like, I came up doing the same thing everybody did. Yeah. What about Kennedy Fried Chicken? You ever been to Kennedy Fried Chicken in the Bronx? Yeah, of course, man. Kennedy Fried Chicken is like our KFC. It's like Mr. Child in the projects. You know what I'm saying? So it's like Philippe in the projects. You go in there, them four wings with hot sauce is the best thing you can have in your life. I'm going to take you there one day. Really? The Kennedy Chicken? Yeah, Kennedy Fried Chicken. The red sign, Big Kennedy. You're going to love it. Lastly, lastly, lastly here, French Montana. Thanks for your time. I wanted to ask you about Camp Low, Bronx. Camp Low. Damn, you took it back. Shot the Camp Low and shot the Kid Capri. This is all like legendary things, you know what I'm saying? You know, for you to do this, I know you went in searching for the for the South Bronx legends. And definitely shot the Camp Low, shot the Kid Capri, shot to everybody that ever did it from the Bronx. We just, you know, we, we just re, like rewriting history. So, you know what I'm saying? Definitely shot to everybody. Damn, I love it. Well, thanks so much, French Montana. Really appreciate your time. Got one last gift for you. What's that? You love Tupac, don't you? Oh, uh, my favorite ever. And I have something here for you. It's the Bun B Rap Coloring and Activity Book. Oh, my gosh. Shout out to Bun B. And it features Tupac, Action Bronson, Rick Ross, a whole bunch of them. Check it out. Like, open up. You can see Rick Ross right there. Yeah, shout out to Rick. You get to draw it on yourself so you can have the activity. 
Damn, this is like, hold on. I'm going to see wherever you pointed at. Let me open it. There you have. You're Tupac. Hey, I got to draw him? Yeah, there's a little activity here for you to do. So you can like fill in your own face where his face is. The like an activity book. <laughs> Shout out to Tupac, man. Shout out to Bun B. Shout out to... Action Bronson, too, as well in there. Action Bronson. Oh, shout out to Action Bronson. Actually, him and Harry Frog got an album coming out together, so definitely shout out to him. The Rap Coloring Book. Yeah. That's Willie D. Damn. There's a list of everybody on the back. There's tons and tons of rappers. Do you like coloring? Are you into activity books? Colors. I love it. It's going to be hours and hours of fun for... Actually, I'm going to give this to my son. I'm going to let him color this in. Then I'm going to help him study, you know, so he can know what his father's into. I love this, man. This is this is really nice, actually. Who is this? Big Crit? Riff Raff? You got Riff Raff in here? <laughs> There's Riff Raff in there as well. MC Light, Kanye West. Y'all just got Kanye West just like this, huh? Black skinheads, huh? There's a little activity, too, for you to do there. Yeah? All right, cool. We're going to put it together. You got a heart on his show? Yeah, I like you, man. You're cool as shit. What kind of show? That's Versace? Um, no, it's from Bershoe's Angels, a thrift store in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. <laughs> No, nah, I love it, man. I love it. I love the swag. Nah, what about this hat, though? That's like old school Biggie Smalls Kango joints. Like, you know, give me one more chance. Actually, uh, my mom got that for me in Scotland. Yeah. Man, I, I love it. Like, you gotta get this right here. What is that, Egyptian cloth? Microfiber? I think it's from Scotland as well. I think it's Green Robertson Tartan. You really know your clothes. That's amazing. Yeah, you know, I have to, man. I gotta stay on top of, you know, top of fashion. Well, thanks so much for your time, French Montana. Yeah, thank you, man. I want to tell you right here, you're really unique with everything you do, man. I, I, I don't usually, like, do interviews like that where I really look forward to do it, but I look forward to do your interview. You're really, like, unique, man. Keep doing what you do. I love it. Oh, well, thank you so much. Really appreciate your uh, time. No problem. I appreciate your time. And thanks very much, French Montana. Keep on rocking in the free world and do 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 <laughs> Don't drop that. Da, 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 da. Actually, the uh, <laughs> actually the uh, uh, worked. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Yeah. Da, 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 da.